Hi, this is Jen from Skin and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. We've had some questions um, on the page about how to kind of shape a word or using words to create a shape. Um, so I'm going to show you. There's not a button in Shortcuts a lot that, you know, you push and bam, um, the word right here conforms to the shape. So I'm going to show you how to use the effects to kind of get it to the shape and then using node edit to try to get it to the rest of the way. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Let me see if we can't get it the rest of the way. Let's come up to effects and we're going to go bulge on this one. Opposite. And this likes to shut down as soon as I hit OK. Alright, so let's hit OK and hope it doesn't shut scale down. Come on. Okay, good, it worked. So I'm going to drop this in here. Pull this up. So I'm going to get it as close to as I can. Okay. And I'm just using the football as a measurement. I'm going to actually get rid of the football. Hang on. Me fiddling around with it isn't helping. Okay. Then what I can do is I'll bring this in here. Don't capture the football because you can only have two items in your path. And I'm going to use exclude because exclude will leave these little black parts still in there. And if I really wanted to, I could leave the football, bring in the white stripes, um, the little black stripe that would come up here and go around, you know, those, if I really wanted to. But that's just a for instance, okay? So you can use that bulge effect um, to do that. So let's get rid of that. Let's bring in this one here. This is a cheer cone. Sports season, can you tell? So let's type in cheer. We'll just go ahead and use the same font. Oh, let's see here. Let's try to get it out there. Well, let's see. Let's grow it a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger. Okay, that looks decent. Come down here to distort. That's going to allow me to bring this up. And I'm going to bring this down. I'm also going to bring it out just like that. And it looks like that's stretched as far as it can go. Okay. But I see there's still a little piece back there in that C. Well, let's blow this up a little bit. Come on, come all the way back here. Yeah, you see that C? I'm going to get rid of this. I want to make this C kind of follow that. So what I need to do is I need to note at it, right? Well, I can't get that. I wonder why. Hmm. Well, we click on that and we ungroup it. Then we come and we get these nodes, then we can do it. So let's start pulling these nodes out. Oh. 
sometimes it's hard to grab a hold of them. Okay, we really want this to follow. That cone as closely as possible. So it's going to take a little bit of work, but you see kind of what I'm doing here. So that's what you'll have to take the time to do. Pull all of your little nodes in and node at it. I know there's been some people asking some questions, and there's really no easy answer. There's not a real quick fix to do it. You just have to take your time and note at it, which I personally think is fun. Okay, so I'll go ahead and keep working with this, but let me pop this out and see how this ends up looking. Let's see here. And we still have work to do on the C, but you can see that started to take that curve of that cone right there. All right, guys, if you have any questions, you can come and find me over at uh, scan and cut canvas and scale help on Facebook. Thanks, guys.